Hey guys, a uh, little later than normal. Um, I actually had my mother visiting, which is the first um, human I've seen in a long time other than my husband and some, you know, random grocery store attendants. So that was exciting, um, but she's gone now. So I'm here for her and her happy hour. This one I wanted to talk about um, timing. It doesn't necessarily seem like a thing. So I know um, I teach at all different times. I teach Saturday mornings, I teach Thursday nights, I teach Tuesday mornings, I teach, you know, early mornings, sometimes noon classes, all over the spectrum. And sometimes we're forced to take a time slot that we're given. But as a manager, I've noticed that certain instructors do better at certain times. Some of that is the demographic of the time. Your 6 a.m. people are gonna be very different from your 6 p.m. people, and that's great. Um, the energy of the instructor has to be different to match that. But you'll find over your years, and if you're new, don't worry about this yet, you'll learn it. But over time, you'll find that your crowd, your people, your following is gonna stick the best at a certain time. Um, your energy is gonna come out the best at a certain time. If you're a morning person, maybe 6 a.m. is your time slot and that's your favorite thing in the world, maybe 5 a.m., hey Matt. Um, but some people, they're not morning people. They're after work people, they have the energy then, they wanna kinda have one last crazy thing to do before they go home, have dinner, and go to bed. And 6 p.m., 7 p.m., even 8 p.m., if you teach late classes, maybe that's it. Maybe the middle of the day. Maybe you're a mom and you have kids at home and noon is the only time you can teach, but that's also when you have the most energy or things like that. Pay attention to that because you might find that you don't get a lot of people in your classes, even though you feel like you're doing your best, you're bringing the energy. If you're bringing 6 p.m., Thursday night energy to a 6 a.m. Monday class, it's gonna bring a different crowd and it might not bring the people who match that energy. So consider the time slot might be, um, might be the reason why you're not getting the success that you want as an instructor. Now, that being said, I don't think there are any bad time slots, but I think there are bad fits for instructors in those time slots. So you kind of have to mix and match and learn. My biggest suggestion would be try a little bit of everything. So see if you can try an early morning class on a weekday. See if you can try an afternoon or an evening class on a weekday or a morning weekend class, which you get a mix of people on those, so those usually always do better, unless you're downtown in the city or something. But um, try it out, mess around with it. Try not to always stick to the same time slot. See if, you're, if you've built it, then keep it. It means you're in the right place. But if you're having trouble building your class, ask your manager if you can switch to a different time and see if that makes a difference because I'm telling you, everyone has a different energy. Just like we're all either morning people or night owls, right? That matters when you teach a class and the energy that you bring and the people that match that energy. So consider that, try it out. As you're all getting back into your studios and trying, this is a good time because you're gonna probably have, you know, decreased capacity in your classes. It'll give you a chance to see how you feel teaching in those different time slots and it's a good it's a good chance to try things out. So I hope you are all hanging in there. I know we continue to struggle through this crazy time, but you guys keep on pushing through and I'm here for you. So if you have any other topics for Hunter Happy Hour, let me know in the comments as always or message me. I continue to get those and I love them, so keep doing it and I will talk to you guys next week. Have a wonderful end of your week and a great weekend. Bye all.